People ask me, what are the big surprises of EFT tapping? So I've been using this tool for 12 years and guiding people in EFT sessions one-on-one, -on -one, in groups. I've been teaching people how to be EFT practitioners and how to practice EFT by themselves. And I wanna share with you what are the three biggest surprises that people experience. So the first one, hands down, no question, is that it is possible to rewire the brain. Like we are not told this, when we were growing up, it is possible to change our mind, to change our belief systems. What we were taught as children, what, who we think we are, it is so malleable. Now, if you're interested in geeking out in the science, you can look up terms like um, neuroplasticity and epigenetics, but just know that it is possible to rewire your brain, to release subconscious blocks and to completely create a new life for yourself. The second big surprise with EFT is that you can change how you feel about something that happened in your past. Now, I always thought that, you know, bad things happened to me and I was just going to be upset about them forever and there was nothing I could do about it and I was totally powerless. That was back when I was really in victim mentality and after doing a lot of meditation, which is a way longer route than using EFT, let me tell you, I learned that it is possible to completely change how we feel about things that happened in our past. Now, that doesn't mean that we are forgiving people or condoning things which people did, which really hurt us. We can still have clear boundaries. We are not saying that we want these things to happen again, but you don't need to hold on to all that anger and upset that happened to things with you when you were a child, which is keeping you disempowered, which keeps us in victim mentality. It is possible with tools like EFT to really clear inside the mind, to get love flooding through the brain and to release the to the traumas that happened to us when we were kids. And I have worked with so many people that I have listened to horror stories from people that were born into motorcycle gangs with drug addict parents who were chased around their houses with knives when they were kids that suffered child abuse, rape, torture, cults, like you name it. I have worked with people and all of them, every single one of them using EFT, and I'm sorry I'm getting all evangelical on you, but it works. They have all transformed and found a way to be at peace with what happened in their past, to release it. They feel free, they feel clear, they feel whole, they feel confident in themselves. Their past doesn't define them anymore. They found a way to release it. And I want the same for you. I've experienced it in my own life and it is phenomenal to free yourself from the trauma from the past, to alchemize it, to take that and turn it into gold. And I promise you it is possible for you. Okay, the third surprise is something quite wacky, right? It is that the underlying trauma and the underlying root cause can be something that you really don't expect it to be. And so I'm going to use an experience from my own life, right? So I was bullied intensely for six years from the age of six until I was 11 and I left what's called primary school in Scotland. And I worked so much using EFT and meditation on all the different memories of being bullied, of being chased, of being name called, which created the beliefs inside my mind that I wasn't lovable, that no one was ever going to want to be my friend, that I was a bad person, that there was something broken and wrong with me because that was what I was hearing from the people at school. So as I go through this process of personal transformation, I'm going back through and I'm cleaning up all the memories using EFT. I finally reached this one memory and I started sobbing and I had such a massive release and started to feel so much better after it. And do you want to know what this memory was? It was me trying to use a pair of scissors. So the teacher had told us all we had to cut out these little patterned fabric things. And then once we were able to do that, we could move on to the next thing. And I had scissors that were blunt. I could not cut through the material and the teacher didn't have other scissors, wouldn't give me other scissors. I can't exactly remember now because the memory is cleared and released, but I had to stay back over break, over lunch, trying to cut this fabric with these scissors. And I have a suspicion, I can't clearly remember, but I anticipate this was when I was five years old. I think this is what I started being bullied for. That would make sense on how I understand trauma. But this memory, when I got to it, I 
I sobbed and bawled my eyes out from connecting to the pain and the frustration and the sadness and the anger and the confusion that I felt as a five-year-old trying to use these blunt scissors to do something that was impossible. And this is how we create all these different beliefs. So that is one of the big surprises that can happen as well. And I see it all the time with clients as well. Like we are tracking, you know, like maybe they um, can't manifest their dream man or they feel really stuck in their work or they're getting into relationships, like bad relationships over and over and they're trying to figure it out. So we'll do our detective work and we go back down into their subconscious and I ask these questions to guide them. And then we'll get to these memories and they'll be like, I would never have guessed that that was underlying all of this but the emotions don't lie and the body doesn't lie so when our bodies start showing us in a session like whoa there's so much emotion and there's so much charge there it means that we have hit gold and yes there's like moments of sadness as that comes out but we're able to connect with that younger self and give them the love that they needed in that moment and this is how the rewiring process happens so I hope that those three surprises of EFT helped you. Let me know in the comments if there's something else that you've experienced with EFT, some big surprise or revelation that you've discovered. I love hearing EFT stories. And if you're interested, I do guide people one-on-one -on -one in deeply transformative journeys. If you're ready to explore your subconscious and alchemize that into gold, it would be an honor to support you. There's information in the description below. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and there's other other um, information if you want to learn how to do EFT tapping by yourself I have an online course and I also have a manifestation workshop all the information for that is in the description below so much love to you